Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a weekly reading for the elements. So this is going to be for air signs, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. We are just going to do a weekly look ahead, you know, for the next seven days. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Next seven days. What do we got? the week ahead. This used to be my sig singles segment, but um, so many times I do them for singles and I see that there's couples in there too, so I decided not to do that. Wh whoever this is for, this could be for couples as well, but this typically is my singles week ahead. But So I focus on singles, but I see that couples come up a lot, so... Or whatever happens, happens. This is for Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. What do we got for the next seven days in regards to love? Who's coming in? What's happening in the love department? What's coming in, basically? What's coming in for love? That's what this is. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. What's coming in for love? What's coming in for love? What is coming in for love for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius? What do we have? We could have a King of Pentacles coming in, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, somebody with a really, really big offer. It doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. It could be somebody that is a hard worker, somebody that is stable, somebody that is secure, somebody that um, is very abundant with who they are. This is a really, really hard worker, okay? Um... Let me make sure this is focused. Uh, yikes. <laughs> there's a lack of faith. There's a lack of faith here. There's a lack of faith. I think there's been a delay. I feel like somebody is not taking action. Um, they may be holding on to something that they think is stable and they have something, a better opportunity for them. They have a better opportunity and they may not see it. I feel like somebody is holding on to some unfinished business with somebody from their past and they're treating themselves from a blessing. Sorry to say that, but that is the truth. Cheating yourself from a blessing. Deceiving yourself, wanting to go back to, you know, a bridge that has already been burned, perhaps. Some of you um, are not making progress when you should be making progress. Some of you are making progress, but... Uh, you know, you need to find the confidence to hold your head up high and remove yourself from situations that deceive you, okay? Some of you um, are working on your health this week. I think that you're finding the ability to persevere over a, a difficult situation, even though some of you are, are absolutely still stuck. I feel like some of you are holding on to something that you may think is stable. You may think that, you know, it's something that you can save, but it's in your hands. It's not like, I don't think that somebody is taking it, and I'm not sure why. Maybe you're not giving it. Maybe you're holding it. You're not giving. Maybe you're holding on to your own stability quite tightly, and you're being called to be a little more optimistic, be a little more open-minded, um... Maybe go down a new path, come up with a new vision. You know, don't let yourself get distracted by your own insecurities. I feel as though you're being called to slow down. You know, really take your time. Don't act impulsively for some of you. You need to slow down. Um, some of you 
are feeling empty and lost inside because you're going through some sort of transformation, you're going through a transition, and part of this transition is letting go of self-sabotage, letting go of things and situations in your past that have kept you stuck. I really feel like you guys need to find that strength within you to move forward even if you don't have the closure or you don't have the exact completion that you were hoping for. Some of you are needing to finalize a situation. It's time to evolve. You might have to make some compromises. It's like you're, you're, you're seeking balance. You're trying to bring balance back to your life. But you're sabotaging yourself at the same time by looking back. Somebody keeps looking back at something when they shouldn't be. There's that, I mean, the Seven of Swords is deception. You know, you could have somebody that is deceiving you, you know, and, and you're allowing it. You know, I think for a lot of you, you're going through some sort of spiritual healing, a spiritual renewal. Um, and you may be keeping to yourself, you know, you're trying to keep yourself secure. And that's why you're holding on tightly to what you have. You're holding on to your securities. You're, you're not wanting to. Um, it's like you don't have faith. You don't have faith or trust in. anybody at this time I you know I don't feel like I mean I hate to say that but that's what it looks like to me I, I I really feel like right now you don't have confidence in you know society you don't have confidence in the world and I think it's because of the past deceptions that you have been put through I, I wanted to know what's coming towards you balance and harmony is coming towards you and it starts from within I really feel like you guys are finding your inner strength. You're finding yourselves. You're, you know, you're redefining during this time. Do I see new love coming in? You know, there could be a new opportunity on the horizon. Somebody that is well suited for you, but I think that there's a delay, because right now it's a time of spiritual healing. Okay, a spiritual, evo spiritually evolving. I feel like you have some unfinished business with yourself, unfinished business with yourself. Okay, that's what I feel like this is. And I feel like you're finding the ability to restrain yourself from giving to people that don't deserve your time and energy. You know, you're doing the right thing. You are doing the right thing. But there is a lack of faith and there's a lack of confidence in yourself. I have to tell you. Okay, there is. There is. This is lack of faith and this is lack of confidence. Okay, and maybe it's just not with yourself. Maybe it's in the society, like I said. I mean, it could go either way. Um, I really feel like you guys, you know, may need to burn a bridge once and for all. And I know, and I know that a lot of people don't want to hear that. They're like, why would I ever want to do that? Because sometimes the people on the other side of that bridge, they, they're only all they want to do is hurt you. They just want to come back and hurt you. If you burn the bridge, they can't come back. So, I mean, I, I really feel like you guys are, some of you may be, you know, getting out of a commitment or you have gotten out of a commitment recently and that's why you're, you need this time of healing, you know. Um, some of you are needing to follow your own path. Maybe you're seeking guidance and you haven't quite received all the information that you need to move in a new direction. I think that you are definitely going through some sort of spiritual healing right now going through a renewal and I think that you understand that all in good time you know I think that that is a big deal here I think divine timing is at work in your love life because this is who's coming towards you I think that you guys are not ready to trust at this time okay I feel like feel like you're 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 really Keeping it, keeping your, keeping your security close, you know. You're trying to keep your stability. It's like you don't want to, you don't want to give to anybody right now. 
I feel like you could have somebody that has something to offer you and you may be resisting it. You may be, you know, right now I'm working on me. I'm working on me right now. And I feel like you guys are finding the inner strength to... persevere, you know, in regards to what you need. You know, this is what I need right now, that kind of energy. I need to complete a chapter in my life. I need to complete a phase and go through this healing period before I can get in any kind of commitment. So, I mean, I don't feel like there's a commitment coming in this week if you're single. I don't. There could be a crush. There could be a new attraction with somebody. Somebody could be crushing on you, but I don't I don't see a lot of movement here. I don't see a lot of movement. I feel like there's a delay. There's a lot of thinking going on. There's healing going on. There's there's also, I mean, that 7 of swords is is there's looking back, looking back at at Deception, and I think there has definitely been some deception that has hindered your success, you know. So, you know, I feel like right now you guys are basically, I don't know where this is coming from, like transcending or ascending or something like that. Um, you're going through a spiritual renewal. Do I think that new love has come in? I think that there's somebody out there that may be interested in you. Uh, they may be, they may have some tricks up their sleeve or you may suspect they have some tricks up their sleeve and that's why you're not giving to them fully. I feel like you're resisting, you know, you're holding back. You're holding back from giving because you're going through your own thing right now. You want to remain balanced. You want to remain, you know, at peace and you, you don't want any shakeups right now. That's what it looks like to me. Um... I got these upside down. And that was the independence card. On your, Yeah, you guys are taking care of business. It's like, that was the Nine of Pentacles. It's, it's uh, being self-sufficient. Taking care of me. I'm taking care of me. I'm working on my health. I'm working on my, my inner balance. I'm working on my self. That's what this, this next seven days is about. Regaining your power. Regaining your strength. Yeah, I don't think you guys are interested in a partnership. It's not the focus. It's not saying that you don't want love. I don't think a partnership, a romantic partnership, is the at the forefront of your mind. For some of you, it is. But for some of you, it's not. For some of you, it's just like, no, I, I'm not ready for a relationship. I'm evolving. I'm changing. I'm going through some big spiritual changes right now. And I don't want to get distracted. I think you're worried about getting distracted. You're trying to do, to do everything in your power not to get distracted from this ascension that you're going through. I think you're going through an awakening. That's the damn truth. That is the truth. The truth is you're, you're waking up. You're going through a spiritual awakening. So that's what's going on here. I think you're releasing things that don't serve you. And you're doing it through solitude. I, that's the way I feel. I think you're, you're working on, um, you know, your own karma right now. Um, for some of you. It's a time of release. It's a time of acceptance. It's a time of forgiveness. It's a, it's a spiritual awakening here. You guys are going through a spiritual awakening. And as far as a relationship goes, I don't think that that is where you're at. I don't feel like that's where you're at. Some of you may be going through a breakup with this and this. Some of you may, going through a, may be going through a breakup right now. Because it's time for it to finish. It's time to complete this chapter in your life. Some of you have already ended a relationship, a partnership, and this is the period of healing. It's the period of renewal. It's, it's the period of finding yourself again. I feel as though you guys have to make decisions. You have options. You have choices here. And, you know, you're trying to choose the most peaceful resolution for your own life.
you do have an offer, but you understand, and I think that you know that whoever this person is that's on the outside, maybe you don't even know this person yet, maybe they're in the distance because they're very slow moving. This is a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And like we saw that King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I feel like you may be dealing with it. It could be an Earth sign. It could be anybody else. So don't don't bank on that. Whoever this person is, they, they are going to come forth with a solid, stable offer. But it's on. It's it's it could be pretty far away. It could be far away because there's plans that need to be followed. There, It's practical. I mean, slow and steady wins the race, right? So... I really feel like you probably do have an offer coming in, but it's not uh, something that is going to happen overnight. I think that right now you're working on your stability. You're going through some um, a test, it, a test, a, a test of uh, inner strength, a test of uh, perseverance right now, and I feel like you're working on your own abundance. So that you have something to offer when whoever this person is that arrives. So I feel like this is a time of slowing down. Slowing down your approach. It's a time of getting prepared. It's a time of healing. It's a time of being responsible. And it's a time of... Spiritual awakening. That's what I see. You guys are taking control, right? You're keeping structure. You're being the boss. You're not letting anybody take you down. Congratulations. This could be somebody that is helping you as well. You could have a father in your life that is helping you or who, or who is influencing you. This could be you if you are the Aries taking control, taking the lead, protecting yourself, protecting what's important to you. You've gained a lot of wisdom through life experience and you know that you have to stand strong and you have to be decisive. So I feel like this is a time of keeping structure and stability in your life and probably not focusing on a love relationship. I think that you understand that, you know, there's consequences for the choices that you make and you're making damn sure that you make the right choices at this time. And that's where you're at. So that's what I have. This is for Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. You probably have an earth sign that is moving very slowly in your direction. Or you're moving slowly in their direction, whatever it is. But this is a time of awakening, healing, evolving, changing, letting go of unfinished business from the past. Letting go of old relationships that no longer serve you. Dropping things that are hurting you. Burning that bridge once and for all. You have a new suitor here. You do. Somebody that can take very, very good care of you. But patience is a virtue. And I think that you understand that. So this is a time of patience. As healing is happening. Healing is, is happening for you or the other person. Somebody is going through a period of healing. And I feel like that, that, you know, getting into a relationship at this time just isn't practical. But it's coming. It's coming. Whoever this person is, they're very well suited for you. And there is a strong attraction. There is a there's an attraction. But there's a lack of closure or healing from something from the past that needs to be dealt with, okay? That's what I see. So yeah, there's a delay, but it's coming. Somebody has something to offer you, but they're scared, they're holding on to it.
we're gonna get one of these. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They may not trust. Somebody doesn't trust. Somebody doesn't have faith. They're scared. There's fear here. There is fear. Whether it's you or the other person. But there's there's healing from that fear, right? Woman holding heart. Woman holding heart. So this is... Uh... I'm smiling. I'm sorry. I'm smiling. This is... Get ready. Get ready. Somebody's, somebody's going to... Somebody sees your heart, okay? Get ready. Somebody sees your big heart. That's what I got to say about this. Fours are all as well. Fours are an angel number. This this is angels, okay? Angels are going to bring you together with somebody. They are. But patience, 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 patience. It's slow. It's slow. It is slow. It's like it's not moving forward right now. <laughs> There's a delay. There's a delay. There's some sort of blockage. It has to do with unfinished business. Whether it's you or the person you're dealing with, there's unfinished business, but there's a period of healing going on and somebody sees your big heart. So don't give up hope. Please don't give up hope. There's a period of healing right now. There absolutely is. Somebody is healing their heart. So be patient. I feel like somebody has gotten out of a relationship. Whoever is coming into your life has gotten out of a relationship. They're going through a healing of some sort. They've had some sort of loss. And they're heading in your direction. But you're going to have to be patient. Definitely somebody is going through a healing period right now. And that's why they haven't reached their destination. Okay? Um... You either have an Aries or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, by the looks of things. Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but could be a Scorpio. Somebody, I think there's, there's a secret is going to be revealed. The truth is going to come out about how somebody feels about you. It's going to come out, but it may not be till the 20th. It, you know, maybe, you know, things may not, you may not hear the truth about how a person feels. Maybe in the 20th, maybe, maybe later on, maybe at a different day. Maybe, I mean, the 20th is what? Is that the full moon? I don't know. That's when something could, a secret could be revealed right around the 20th. So somebody's true feelings could be revealed. Um, we're going to get one of these. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody sees. Somebody sees your big heart. And they may see that, you know, it's, it's ready. To, it's ready. They may see that, you know, you're getting ready. Whatever that is. Self-esteem. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Makes a lot of sense. Somebody's going through a period of healing. Getting ready for love. And love is right around the corner. It really is. But self-love needs to happen first. So... And I feel like there's definitely angels here because of this. Four, four, four is their angels. Okay, they are bringing two people together. You can see the angels' wings up there too. There's angels bringing two people together that are, that are meant to unite when the time is right. Divine timing when the time is right. Could be anywhere from the 14th to the 20th. Um, it could be during Aries season as well. Could be April even. Just saying. I feel like the next seven days is about patience, waiting, healing, awakening, allowing, accepting. And, uh, and going slow. This is slow moving. That's what I have. Good luck.